I've been seeing this phrase all over my YouTube channel and pretty much everywhere on YouTube, TikTok, and Twitter. The Waffle House has found its new host. Don't look into it any further. It really doesn't mean anything at all, but I kept seeing it continuously all the time, and it made me think, wait a minute. What game can I actually go and visit or possibly defend the Waffle House in for all the craziness of people mentioning the Waffle House recently? Well, there's no bigger fight than fighting an infection here in Infection Free Zone. Well, today I uh, looked up the biggest that I could find, at least, Waffle House in the United States. And apparently it's in Atlanta, Georgia, next to an area known as, I think, Centennial Park. And so we're going to jump down into there and see if we can build some defenses and defend the Waffle House. Yeah, the Waffle House has found its new host. It's me, baby. I'm taking over the Waffle House. I'm going to throw up some Palisades and see if we can defend it against endless waves of zombies in this um, soon-to-be-released game. It says coming soon. There's no actual release date for Infection Free Zone, but hopefully soon. If you guys want to keep seeing more and more of this game and or giveaway keys in the future and whatnot, make sure you smash that like button. Let's uh, go ahead and subscribe and jump on the Discord for giveaways and more. I don't know. It's been a lot of fun to play this game. So thank you very much for watching. If this is your first time with Infection Free Zone, it's a hell of a lot to learn and a hell of a lot to see. So let's go ahead and get started. By the way, just as one final note for those of you curious about the game, yeah, you can go literally anywhere in the world. You pick any major city or small, you type in latitude, uh, latitude, latitude longitude, libelu, blah, blah, whatever. You name it, you can go anywhere, right? Highways, byways, big cities, and uh, small towns. Your knowledge of certain areas will apply here as when the map loads in, It'll load all the things that might be in your town, such as hardware stores, police departments, hospitals, and more, and it's uh, a really good thing. So, let's go ahead and get to that Waffle House. The world as we know it is gone. What we called the mad virus appeared out of nowhere. It made people turn extremely violent, aggressive, and unrestrainable. Soon later, the infected became bloodthirsty, more like vampires than human. There was chaos, panic, and war for survival. Desperate people were just as dangerous as the virus itself. Even our loved ones could become a threat. The infection spread quickly throughout the entire globe. Every region, every country, every city. Drastic measures were taken to get rid of the infected, but they all failed. The last chance for those who seemed immune was to hide in underground shelters. Ones that we improvised in garages and basements, loaded with food, water, and air filtration systems. These were the places where we survived, sealed from the outside. For so long, we waited for any signal, any info that a cure had been found, and the situation stabilized. Instead, we listened as the world grew quiet. Our resources were becoming depleted. Life support systems were failing. And just as we were losing all hope, we received a distant call. To all survivors, your infection is in decline. Seek others and rebuild. This was the impulse we needed. There were others out there we could come back to the surface. No more hiding. From the ruins of the old world, we will build our new home. Wow, I don't think this could be any better. Right down here is the Waffle House, and I think it's part of the same building that's uh, right up here where the headquarters could be. So we can literally have our Waffle House and our HQ next to each other. Behind this, I think, is uh, several different parking lots. Here is Centennial Park here, I believe. And this would be the convention center with maybe like a, a road or a light rail, something like that. Some sort of a train or something going through the uh, convention center area there. And there are a hell of a lot of big buildings here. So big that I think a lot of these we can't even go into. And they're towering skyscrapers for sure compared to some of the other places we've gone to. Some of these you might recognize, as well as the streets, too, for those of you who've been in or live around or in Atlanta, of course. And uh, the highway should be over this way here. Yeah, connecting everything up right about uh, there. It's kind of hard to tell because, you know, on-ramps and things don't really exist in the game. It's all flat for the time being, but 
pretty cool. Now, the good thing about the park being here is that we can utilize this for trees and then eventually uh, maybe fortify this with a like a field in order to then do farming. And so it's a good open area to both engage zombies and also uh, make a ton of food and possibly uh, cut down a ton of trees for the renovation of the Waffle House into our fortress, our world headquarters for the revamp of the Waffle House. Post-apocalyptic Waffle House. It's going to be sweet. All right, any of these buildings in white will do, but any of these larger buildings can be converted to warehouses or whatnot. But I think we're going to start directly next to the Waffle House and then try to immediately cut down some trees here as soon as soon as soon as we can, as soon as we have enough people, and then start checking all these buildings here. Anywhere, by the way, that is a, uh, like, for example, the American Cancer Society and any other hospitals nearby would be great for pharmaceuticals and or medical supplies. Anything such as the Waffle House, that's a restaurant, perfect for food, and then anything that's possibly a vehicle, of course, we could use in order to drive on the streets of, of Atlanta and possibly, wow, some of these buildings here are destroyed. You can see uh, pieces here up in the sky, so we can utilize that for rubble and metal can be literally street lights or whatnot. But yeah, if we find a police department, I'm, I'm not sure what's around here, but any sort of gun store, police department, anything like that will be great for uh, assault rifles or whatnot. And we can always find those inside any building at random. So I've got to say, every single time I play this game, I'm thoroughly impressed at how detailed all the buildings are and how accurate they are to their layout. And this is just, again, a pre-alpha. This game's got a long way to go. Yet the potential of being able to use your own knowledge to know where exactly uh, certain things are like parks and, and, you know, public structures to find a shelter and or to possibly raid for materials will come into play here. I mean, that's cool. Some people, some players will have more of an advantage than others. Cool. Wow. Even this uh, <laughs> Trader Vic's instead of Trader Joe's, even this nice uh, detailed building here. A lot of the buildings, by the way, in this game will be handcrafted in the future. So the devs will probably take a uh, world capital a major city or whatnot from every uh, country, many from the U.S. and, like, for example, the U.K. and Canada that you could choose from, as well as many in Europe that they can handcraft. Essentially, I equate this to being like Microsoft Flight Simulator, like the older version of Microsoft Flight Sim X, and or, uh, you know, like the newer one where the buildings are pretty close. It's about 90% there, but a ways to go. All right, let's get started with the defense of the Waffle House. It's got a new host, baby. That's me. That's what it was all about me. All right, time to fortify. HQ, confirm. Boom. Operator, this is first squad leader. We made our way out. The neighborhood looks deserted. We'll have to scavenge the nearby buildings for any useful resources. Going straight for the waffles, my man. Okay, find something to eat as fast as possible. Go. Make another squad. Operator. Roger. Let's get across the street. All right, so anything with a question mark has food or uh, whatever else. Checking that uh, Waffle House immediately. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like there's bigger Waffle, maybe like a multi-story Waffle House or something. Maybe there's a like a bed and breakfast one with like four stories and a hotel above. Oh, dude, Waffle House, Hotel, and Casino. That would be fantastic. I feel like there's a lot of restaurants that could be a lot bigger, like Denny's, for example, but they're, you know, they don't need to be massive structures. Reporting. All right, let's get some more people out We're there. The yeah, it'd be cool. Like, you know, you always hear about, like, a multi-story McDonald's, maybe in, like, New York or Tokyo. I've seen uh, a massive, biggest McDonald's I've ever seen in the Netherlands, like, somewhere near, like, uh, Rotterdam or something like that. But uh, this Waffle House, at least, will be secure and we'll keep those waffles safe. All right, three teams are scavenging, one at the Waffle House, one at that apartment building, and one at what seems to be a, yeah, it looks like a market. Here it says this is uh, William Street Northwest. It's a parking garage, apparently. Um, but it did show, actually, a, like a parking symbol above it, so there's a chance we could find a working vehicle or parts for it. Oh, here we go. Police. Oh, it's literally a police station right here, a massive structure. Huge. Possible guns inside. Uh, more uh, parking, it looks like. Yeah, more, more and more parking, and it looks like a restaurant, the Hard Rock Cafe in Atlanta. All right, so we got a lot of good food spots here. It's nice, though, the uh, Waffle House right in the corner. Building clear. Very nice. Reporting. All right, the Waffle House is secure. Oh, look at that. All right, we got ourselves two cans of waffles. All right, cool. Uh, the other team here We're ready. has two handguns and two machetes. We need to also find armor, possibly craft that for our people, but in this pre-alpha, a lot of things are not really 
necessarily working as they should or even complete, which is totally fine by me. Right, it's about uh, 1 p.m. Got a little bit more time to search around. Lots and lots of parking areas. Look at this. Everything is basically a parking lot. Look at this. Uh, yeah, every single one of them is like identified as a parking lot. According to this, anyway, anything with a car on it and anything with a shopping cart, I think, could likely have uh, like processed food, food that we can actually use uh, right away rather than processing with a cookhouse and perfect territory right here for everybody else. All right, let's go ahead and get everybody cutting wood. Do that ASAP then, since the area is a little more secure. And everyone will pile out of the HQ and start cutting down trees, to which it looks like 28 out of 60 people will work. It looks like there's 90 wood. And in order to conf uh, convert the uh, Waffle House, looks like a fairly large building, 475 versus 366. So a little larger than the building next to it. But we're going to go ahead and confirm this as being like one structure. It's just more like the no we'll just call this north and south side of that. In fact, I think this is north and south, top of the screen, bottom of the screen. All right, two more groups going. Let's see what do we got here? Commercial visitor center for the park. Pavilions, pavilions. Oh, a Starbucks. Great, wonderful. Uh, Baker Street. Oh, a Chick Fil A. Oh, hell yeah! Wow, Atlanta's got it going on. The Omni Atlanta Hotel. All right. Beautiful. That progress. Every single one of those tap, tap, taps is a wonderful uh, Waiting orders. On my way. little, uh, ooh. We're on the move. There was so much food in that building that they actually brought it back. And, uh, like, they'll auto come back to base. Very nice. Yeah, every tap is a tree possibly being chopped down. We're going to need quite a bit of wood starting with 50. If we convert a building before we're ready, the zombies could just attack it, and then we'll lose all the wood. So we're going to wait a little bit on some objectives. It'll be a little weird, but... For the experience so far, it's going to be okay. That could be solar panels there. Man, the game does a good job of even detailing the rooftops. Although everything looks like a slightly weird or off uh, apartment building. But the precinct, uh, the uh, police precinct looks pretty good. And I could believe that there maybe could be parking or something on like the back side or underneath for uh, police vehicles. Which is pretty cool. And it would be great to get a police car. Alright, another Roger. can. I think we should immediately start on the police station. Or... Well, let's go right here first. We gotta go too far. It's too dangerous for unarmed civilians to work after nightfall. Everyone's returning home. Alright, so the work on the uh, forest ends for now, and they'll go work tomorrow morning. And we've got incoming zombies for sure, so it's likely that they're gonna be coming from pretty much anywhere in the east. West too, but uh, at least we have a little bit of cover of the uh, little field here. The park. Sun is getting low. We don't know what's going to happen during the night. We can continue our scavenging operations in the dark, but that will be way more dangerous than waiting until sunrise. Uh, continue. Carry on. We need those resources. For sure. Oh, and here comes the zombies. All right, any moment. Uh, nothing too spectacular now. Go ahead and, oh, there they are. Sir, we just saw a group of infected. They might not be aware of our presence yet. Fight. Get ready to fight. All right, keep looking for resources too. Building clear. We're ready. Check that police station. The first night's pretty good to search. The zombie hordes will increase in intensity after a while. So the more scouting we can do earlier, the better. Especially a police station. These are godsends. A waffle house, a police horde station. Spotted. Oh, and a horde. Two hordes coming in from the south. They know where we're at. We're ready. Uh, they're thinking about it. Clear. We're ready. They're thinking about attacking our HQ. Well, I hope this group can find handguns or a assault rifle or something. That police precinct's going to be fantastic. Sir, the crates are in the HQ. There might be some more resources nearby. I suggest we scavenge some more locations. Okay, let's do it. Great. Any stock will come in handy. Chief. 
Chief, I will speak on behalf of the other citizens. Let us go and adapt the buildings to suitable shelters, so we won't spend a single more night underground. She just wants us to take over the Waffle House. I know. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. All right. All right, police station's going to take a long time to search, too. Look at that. One, no, 14,820 meters square there versus, like, the 16,000 in this building, which is, like, a little bigger. And look at this one. Wow, it... <laughs> 200,000 for the uh, Expo Center. That could be a treasure trove of resources in there if the game allows us to enter. All right. Operator. We've got a group defending the HQ. Port spotted. Yeah. Stay right there for now. Let's actually Going see there. if we can go to this building. Another one incoming. Oh, wow. There are four boards down there. Spotted. Everybody just stay quiet. This is actually nerve-wracking. I did not expect to actually see more than two hordes. Now, they're not full hordes, so it kind of totally equals maybe two, you know, fully filled rings. But these groups are pretty bad. Additionally, we can encounter bears and dogs. We can also have um, larger hordes. Not sure if we can have different types of hordes, but... Okay, let's hold. Wow, this is terrifying. Are they going to come forward or not? They kind of seem like they know where we're at, but they're just being timid. They don't want to just yet. They're scouting us out. They're trying to fake us out. Speed up time a little bit. Hostiles inbound. Got to wait until about 6 a.m. These guys will take cover in buildings near us, and then we got to go clear them out. So the infection could... If we don't clear out the hordes, of course, it works as if it were a state of decay where those infections... Or those infestations will kind of get closer and closer, and there'll be more and more zombies like Chief, that. There are signs of smoke. It's coming out of a building. I think there might be some people there. I recommend we go and investigate. Let's do it. Let's investigate. Find right, that building there. All right. Well, daytime the hordes are sheltering. I think the hordes will die if they're not in a shelter by like 8 a.m. This night was easy. There are sure to be some infected around here. We should build some defenses before the next nightfall. That's a good idea. Agree. Let's build a wooden tower. But not yet. We need more wood. Ready for action. Okay, let's pause. Get that group in there. We need more survivors. All right. Chief, we found some survivors. They've been living in terrible conditions for the last few years. We could bring them in, but will we be able to feed them? Accept them. Bring them in. Well, that means more workers for us at the uh, logging camp, essentially. We now have up to 33 people working on the uh, forest park logging camp and the hordes below her not good oh let's finish this building first uh more groups searching will increase our searching speed so confirmed by the devs the more uh, scouts that are in a building the faster we can actually search it so if we lowered our building teams to a smaller number we could actually search a little bit faster all right how much to convert this building to a shelter gonna cost us 147 wood so we'll wait until we have that first we're gonna go with the shelter first the wooden watchtowers are great but not not great they're too underpowered we need machine guns or like assault rifles in those towers and just handguns aren't gonna cut it by the time we get that thing built and by the time those waves are coming in too late Waiting orders. too late let's go to that police station all right, let's go over here. Perfect. All right, nighttime coming again. Boy, that police station's gonna take forever. We're ready. Oh, we found a gun. Unfortunately, we won't be able to give it to that other group. 
already see some infected coming out of their lairs. Indeed they are. Okay. Get ready to defend the zone. Fort spotted. They're breaking into our building. Oh boy. Kill them. They flanked us from the north. On your command. We're on the move. Receive it. Roger. Fort spotted. Everybody get to the HQ. Fort spotted. We're on the move. On my way. Roger. Requesting support. On my way. We need help. Right, let's go down this way. Woo. All right, not too bad. Infected incoming. Hold till daytime. Oh, that is a massive horde. Now all of our workers. All the workers that you hear chopping trees aren't actually working. Infected That's not until coming. daytime, although the sound effects plays to let us know that they are doing their thing. disband and make a new group waiting orders Roger there was a gun out there somewhere we're on the move going there on your command Ooh, all right good morning it's tight ready for action receiving port spotted reporting all right back to the police station receiving All right, good. Yeah, we have a hundred and something wood now. 115, 16. I think we might want to build walls first. Chief, many of our workers don't have any jobs. Send them to gather resources to construct or to work at some of the buildings. We're gonna see. Operator, if we want to go any further, we need to reestablish long-range communications. We have to learn how to build a working antenna. A local library or university would be a good place to search for that knowledge. You got it. Let's go there. All right, let those survivors rest. All right, let's forget that. Let's do a new order for gathering more wood. Okay, that'll do. Okay, we're full on 28 out of 28. We have four people remaining, which means we could get another scout group going. Not everybody has to be armed. But we could put them on a build team to then start Palisades. But I'm not exactly sure how we build a gate. I don't think we can, actually. I think all we can do is build, like, a wall and then an opening, which would count as a gate. We can't actually close anything to defend it at the moment. I think there's some mechanics being worked on for how that gate will actually work out. Wooden towers are just not worth our time at 20 wood. Unless we get more guns. Let's see. Fortified wall. Here we have some basic wood. We could try to fortify some of these areas. Ah, there's a metal car in the way, too. There's also uh, street lamps and such. So with those, we could actually get metal from that. Looks like a lot of the hordes are coming from the south, but one did sneak past us in the north. Yeah, but it's not paying attention. Hopefully the Waffle House will be defended. 
Not paying attention to how much wood that would cost us. Oh, it actually looks like we'll have more than enough. All right, since our group seem to enter towards the top, we'll try to make a... Uh, I think we can make like a maze, but I'm not sure if our people can actually shoot through the wall. Uh, some of the walls, though, do allow the citizens or the uh, survivors or the people to actually stand on them, like the fortified wall made of concrete. But for now, this should be pretty good. And can we assign workers to build? Actually, we could assign builders. A little weird at the moment. If we have, well, we have none unemployed. But if we take four from here, and if we try to make them builders, that will not work. We'll have to assign them to each section of the wall separately. Try to do like four sections right now and see how that works. All right, let's continue time. Got to defend the Waffle House. Let's go. Lots of construction. Lots of hammers and nails. Our people are starving. All right. Need some food. Although they won't die too quickly right, from that. We got a little bit of leeway for our experience on, on that, command. but... And there's nothing? Not even donuts in the police station? Come on, man. Give me something. Right, well, the good news is it looks like the wall is going up. The green sections mean complete. Blue is the blueprints, as you'd imagine. We could always build a double wall, too, around the fortress if we needed to. The base. Still searching for whatever could be out there. Some of these buildings are large and they'll take multiple days. We kind of need stuff now. Receiving. Everybody about ready to come back to base again, it seems. All right, let's go ahead and cancel the construction for now. Or the logging and increase the construction crews. Try to get three out of three on every section. Well, we can just click max too. There's also uh, the possibility to maybe upgrade these walls in the future so we could find rubble or concrete and replace it. Oh, does each wall section require a worker, not just the, the stretch that we built? Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. We can't leave people as just builders. We'll have to kind of babysit and make sure each section of the wall is complete. Uh, we'll leave one guy unemployed, I guess. I, I don't know where else we can put him. We can find a section. There we go. And they'll finish the work tomorrow. Reporting. All right, back to HQ. We're on your command. We're on the move. On your command. Roger. Uh, no food whatsoever. Spotted. All right, back to the HQ. Let's go. Starting to rain. There is uh, seasons in this game as well, so winter will come. Ready for action. Soon enough. We're on the move. Actually, this group should be able to finish them off. Horde eliminated. Back to the HQ. Gonna be way too many of them. Another one incoming. Another one incoming. Okay, good so far. Horde spotted. Two groups. Big one there. They're breaking into our building. Oh boy. You guys shoot? Receiving. We're on the move. We'll get them. Going there. Portal. Port spotted. Looks like with this building up against another building, the pathing there might be a little uh, challenging. Unfortunately, we can't repair either. Port spotted. Not available in alpha version. Oh boy. They want them waffles. We gotta shoot them as they get close.
Defend the Waffle House. Wow. Good job. All right, I think we're okay for now. Nope. Uh, they're not thinking about doing it again. All right, back to the police station. Operator, ready for action. Board spotted. They're going to need to seek shelter soon. Reporting. All right, another... Finished construction. Oh, Hampton Inn, there could be a... F a little bit of food in there that could have a kitchen, refrigerator, storage. Oh, the walls are going up. Ooh, almost done, in fact. Make sure we assign more workers to the incomplete sections. We should be able to click on that little menu in the lower left, but according to the developers, that is not... It's going to be changing, and it's changed a few times. See what happens. We need food. Yes, we do. But we need them walls up first. Construction building complete. Damn. Now we're going to be lucky to actually find food. It's kind of randomized where and what we might find. Food. Ready for action. Reporting. Building clear. Waiting orders. All right, group found three cans of food. Go. Ah, our groups are actually taking uh, attrition slowly over time. No telling if that'll actually return. On your command. Keep searching for food then. You'd think and hope that big buildings would have big payoff, but sometimes they just don't. They're empty husks forever and ever. Building complete. Building complete. Good. All right, now that the wall is complete, I think the... Most important thing will be defenses. And they might attack those instead, so let's put those near the gate. Not sure what the range of the towers are, but let's put two in the corners first. These are 20 per tower. However, we need handguns in order to operate those uh, towers. We'll try to build towers kind of Near the gate and near the corner, too. No problem doubling up on those. Wow, look at that. Groups went right to work. Jeez. All right, here comes another horde. All right, the battle continues. Here they come again. Watchtowers will hopefully be ready tomorrow. It'd be kind of cool if we could tell the scouts to go up, like, basically go into a watchtower and use it as an outpost so we could build one, you know, far away from the base and... Hopefully the uh, board isn't smart enough to climb a ladder. Wow, they're flying in. Where's our other squads? Waiting orders. On my way. Trying to get everybody to RTB then. So they have to get all the way to the middle of the buildings in order to attack. Unfortunately, we can't repair the HQ. It does look like we can actually shoot at them. I'm assuming people are probably on the top of the roof. 
Possibly taking Horde shots eliminated. at the Horde. Ramirez, defend oh, Burger no, Town. Defend Burger Town again. All right. So let's see. They're not really coming in at the moment. Yeah, the wall was the number one priority. Port spotted. Now we need uh, quarters for 44 people. Luckily, we've got a little bit of canned food. Ready for action. Receiving. Hostiles inbound. We're on the move. All right, they seem to have chilled out a little bit. We're on the move. Okay, we can't search this building here. AI is not able to go into there. Receiving. I'm going to go out now. Receiving. And hopefully the base can hold its own against the horde. Unfortunately, it's almost like they share information and now it's like they know where we are. So they'll come and attack uh, again in the future as if like they are attacking again, like another wave. Like they've got intel. All right, we need over a hundred something um, wood here. So let's go ahead and get like a hundred ish. There we go. Ready to go. And let's let our teams build the towers first. So five out of five on each of those towers. Yep, they should build. All right. Towers are going up. Fortunately, I don't think we're going to have enough guns. And we probably will have to send people back and disband the group so we can then assign the guns. But that's two handguns per tower. So if my math is correct, which it usually is not, it's going to have to be uh, eight guns in total. Looks like each of these also has two people working as a defense. Chief, if we want to build anything else, we need more resources. Indeed. Send workers to chop down some trees. Maybe we could build some palisades with that too. Yep, yeah, we're on that for sure. Okay, let's gather some wood. Palisades have got to be like a day one thing. All right, how are the other groups doing? We've got the police station. Oh, well, we actually have uh, one tower. We're out of food. Okay. Now, people are not dying of hunger yet. We had like 45 people. One person got like clipped on their way into the town. Waiting or orders. into the uh, HQ or whatever. Receiving. It happens. On your command. Yeah, nothing here. This thing should be jam-packed with ammunition. I guess it would probably be the first place people hit up when they're trying to survive above the surface. I mean, that's what I do in Project Zomboid. It's just nothing but parking, 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 hotel, hotel, police station, Waffle House, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A even count as a food? Uh, well, it's just question mark. Okay. Oh, get everybody else assigned here now that the construction's done. But it's too late anyway. The day is done. Need to get over there for some sort of a museum or technology for the antenna. Hostiles inbound. That group should be able to defend. We just got to kind of monitor from the aerial view. This is going to be the best way to find out... Where the horde is, and if we should flee. In, in this case, we need more resources. I think we should. Roger. Operator, ready for action. Infected incoming. Ready for action. Receiving. All right, defend the HQ with one group. There are infected dogs incoming fast. Engage. Infected incoming. They're gone. Oh boy. We're, we're getting swarmed here. Uh, on my way. Infected incoming. Our building is under attack. Infected incoming. They're going to attack the towers instead? Building. 
Return to base. I can't believe the HQ cannot shoot at them out there. We need backup. Our building is under attack. Wow, look at them just steamroll through that tower's H, uh, HP. They've got it. Uh, they're breaking into our building. Ah, uh, no ammo. Need more ammunition. Another one incoming. We're gonna have to run. Uh, no Right, let's go clear them out. Waiting orders. Going there. If we're out of ammo, our people should be able to go in with melee weapons. Up. Going there. We're under attack. There we go. Reporting. All right, let's disband these groups because they have Reporting. no ammo at all. Operator. This group's the only one that can operate safely outside the wall, which means everyone else who was just disbanded can now become a worker. We have 35 out of uh, 56. We're down to 43 out of 45. A couple more people getting clipped on their way back to the HQ. Sucks, but not much else we can do. We need food. Operator. All right, let's make another group again. All right, we need uh, four people back from the logging camp. And let's go ahead and make a new squad. Orders. Roger. Oh, we can go into this large building now. Imagine that. Hopefully we'll find some food. Reporting. Operator. Police station's almost 40%. Wave is coming Orders again. Spotted. So long. On my way. Get uh, We're ready. any On sort my of way. food or ammo. Of course, that group is out of ammo. These people stood as much chance outside as they did inside with no ammo. Group not firing from the HQ. Group not firing from the HQ. We gotta hold the. We'll get them. Oh no, auto fire. There you go. Without the ability to repair and without uh, some of the other options missing, it's gonna be a real doozy to defend the Waffle House. That is for damn sure. That is for damn sure. Woo. Well, we last a little while, almost a week. Good. Game time and time and time again, and it seems to be tougher and tougher every time that I try a new strategy. This time, trying to go for more palisades and trying to scout as quickly as possible, but medium-sized commercial buildings seem to be where it's at in infection-free zone. Buildings about the size of the Waffle House, so suburban areas seem to be best. The massive skyscrapers and commercial buildings of a major downtown area are just far too large for your scouts to really pull anything beneficial out so it's really best to find something along the lines of what uh, Project Zomboid has done with areas of Kentucky. It's going to be quite cool to actually maybe possibly check out some of those. I want to know from you, though, if you watched this far in the video, what other beautiful and gorgeous and scary and terrifying and very easy to defend locations where you could possibly survive an infection and make an infection-free zone. Military bases, medieval castles, landmarks and or areas that you think would be interesting to defend, such as the canals of Amsterdam, with lots of choke points and bridges that might make it easier to defend. I wanna know from you, so take a quick second down below in the comment section, and let me know what you think would be a great place to visit, such as the Eiffel Tower in uh, Paris, France, or whatnot, or the Chernobyl reactor. We've taken a look at Alcatraz and Area 51 and Disney World so far, so make sure you check those out on the channel, and thanks everybody for watching.